Well, we have been talking about domestic violence all morning here on NBC4 today. The number of cases, it is actually the leading cause of arrest here in Franklin County. A lot of people abused don't even realize they have been. One survivor telling me the abuse not always physical. It's not what I was taught. You know, it's not what I've grown up knowing abuse was. Marika Phipps was in a relationship for eight years. At first, it just seemed dysfunctional, but looking back, it was so much worse. I thought abuse was, you know, black eyes and swollen lips. I had no idea that it was damaging a person's character, that it was, you know, demeaning you, that it was making you feel worthless. Two years in, the physical abuse started. After the first physical assault, um, I endured hemor hemorrhaging, brain hemorrhaging, was unconscious, and it was a long journey back, um, but I took him back right after that. They stayed together five and a half more years when finally Marika made a run for it. Torn all my clothes off and everything, so I left with nothing on my back in the snow and fled to their house. And just by the grace of God, the door happened to be open and they were there. She believes it's the reason she's still here today. Marika is one of the lucky ones. According to Ohio Domestic Violence Network, more than 100 people died due to domestic violence between the summer of 2015 and 2016. I think more startling than that, at least to me, was that in 25% of those cases, a child was present. So 25% of the these cases a child watched one of their parents be killed. The executive director of Choices, an organization providing help to victims, says police call their hotline over 150 times a month because they believe a victim is in danger of being killed. While Marika is free of her abuser, the healing process remains and she has hope for others to find help. It's going to click for our women to learn how to respect themselves and to know their worth. It's going to click for the boys to learn to respect women and to respect themselves. And I just, I hope and I pray that at some point, some generation is going to get it. Um, but it's, it's up to us right now as parents to break that cycle. Which brings us to the teaching the rules of respect. Some say that it's not just common sense anymore, and one man through his nonprofit organization is trying to do that. Extraordinary gentleman teaches boys ages 5 through 17 about what it means to respect themselves and others. Brian Rogers shared Marika Phipps' story with his boys so that they would never treat a woman the way that she's been treated. We feel if you're um, exposing our kids to these, these particular things at the young age, it could particularly save a life. They would know how to operate if it did happen to mom or dad. Just spreading awareness. Marika and extraordinary gentlemen will be speaking today at 1 o'clock at the police academy, sharing stories, giving tips on how to talk to your children about domestic violence and how to find help, and also just teaching respect for one another. You can get tickets at the door, and all proceeds go towards the nonprofit Battered Not Broken.